Hey, I'm Diva. Today is so fresh, we're in Battersea and I'll be interviewing Nico Williamson, who's the founder of Climate Cars. We're going to find out a bit more about the company and about him himself. I'm Nico Williamson, I'm founder of Climate Cars, which is an environmentally friendly taxi company covering the whole of Greater London 24 hours a day. Um, I launched the company in 2007, um, aged 23, I'm now 28. Um, we have grown tremendously in that period of time, um, taken on some pretty incredible clients and we've literally just launched our first fully electric cars um, last week, so lots of change. with the idea of climate cars? Um, the idea for climate cars came to me while I was at university. I was studying history at Bristol and I kept going past this gas conversion garage and claiming to make vehicles greener. And from there I suddenly thought, what, what business could we make greener and, and what, what, you know, what, how could I capitalise on this in taxis? I thought it would be a, an obvious place to start. Um, we didn't turn up, we didn't end up actually converting vehicles to run on gas, we ended up using hybrids, but um, this sort of idea came from that place. Yeah, it originated yeah. from there. Mm -hmm. um, and what did you, how did you kind of put the whole thing together? How did you start? Um, so I left university and knew I wanted to start this business. Mm -hmm. I wrote a base business plan as to what the whole idea would look like. Then I um, went and worked for a rival taxi company in London to understand what the business was all about and made myself essentially like a business boy. Basically, everything I needed to know um, as to how, how the business needs to work, how kind of people need to call, all that sort of stuff. Um, and I got lots of advisors and things like that to help me and, and help me sort of build a, a, a plan where I could raise money. Then I went and raised money from investors and launched. Summarized, wow. ver summarized version. <laughs> so, do the people that you used to work for, the company, the taxi company, do they know what you're doing now? Um, well, they were bought by another company, okay. so I mean, I'm, I think there are probably people that are aware of what I was doing. Yeah. I mean, at the time, I was just this young 22 year old working for them, you know, trying to find out about the business. So, that's all I was really doing. I just needed to, know, I needed to know what I was doing before I started. Yeah. Really. And what would you say is the biggest lesson that you've learned? since starting your own business? Probably that um, I didn't spend enough time when I started um, with recruitment, with actually spending enough time making sure I had the right people. Okay. made a lot of mistakes early on with hiring the wrong people. Um, and right. now we've got a fantastic team, but it's taken me a long time to, to realise, not, I suppose not realise, sorry, it's taken me a while to mature and actually know how important it is to get the right people and spend the time recruiting the most it. important thing. I think business. people are, I'm afraid, the most yeah, important thing. Definitely. I mean, you know, you know, if you don't have a good team around you, there's a limited, you know, you've got to think, I'm, you know, if you're even however dynamic you are, you can't do everything. No. Um, so you need a good team of people to help you and yeah, as I said, we've now got a great team. <laughs> and who would you say are your role models? Oh, the sort of cheesy one is Richard Branson because obviously he's the, the sort of poster, poster boy of the <laughs> entrepreneurs. I mean, obviously I like the way he starts all kinds of different businesses. I like that. I suppose I like the way he's had fun doing it as well. Yeah, he's very, he does seem like that, doesn't um, he? And I, you know, again, I've always, that's, that's the, I've read his book aged about 13 minutes at school in my dorm and I'm thinking this, like, this is really, really like, exciting. Do you think you're similar to him? Oh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't I think he's significant. I think he's uh, a lot more <laughs> successful than I am. But anyway, I, I, so I've always admired what, he, what he's done. I really like his businesses and things like that. So yeah. Even another one. And then probably Luke Johnson or something like that. Okay. Cool. And where do you see yourself and climate cars in the next, say, five years? Well, say five years, we'd be a lot bigger in London. I mean, we want to be one of the market leaders, um, so you know, hopefully you'll be seeing our logo all over London. I see it. I've used it. I've used your cars before. Well, hopefully you'll see a lot more. And then what we're looking at potentially expanding regionally, so uh, you know, maybe some other cities in the UK, maybe some international cities even. Um, and then yeah. perhaps a bit of diversification. You know, there's lots of other products that we potentially think might work well with our brand. So I've just literally recruited a chairman in the last couple of weeks, actually. Wow. Who's going to help me with strategy? Um, we're going to be really, really working on how we're going to make this into a, more of a brand, less of a you know smallish. So tech not just company. dedicated to cars, maybe other things. Maybe too. other things as well, as long as they work with, with our business. You know, we've already got quite pretty good infrastructure, so we can do other stuff too. So yeah, this we'll see. Good. Yeah, it should be I'm interesting. I'm excited <laughs> to see. And lastly, can you just say to the camera um, a big shout out to So Fresh? <laughs> just say hi and that you love us. <laughs> <laughs> a big shout out to So So Fresh. <laughs>